Hi guys, so I'm thinking, ugh, I don't know how to do an intro. Hey guys, so I figured why not do a get ready with me because I've literally never done that um, where I do a video of me talking and actually I have. It's been like one video out of like 30 of them and um, that was the one that got the most views. So I'm going to stop being insecure and actually talk for once. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be using this LA Colors brush and then I'm just going to go ahead and get the dark blue color um, and then I'm going to pat it and I did um, prime with concealer but I didn't set it because this Morphe 12P palette can get kind of dusty. Um, so then I'm going to go ahead and go in with that purple, no wait, oh shoot, what, did I use purple? <gasps> wait, so I did use purple. And I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild crease brush, and I'm gonna start blending it just a little bit, just cause um, the purple by itself doesn't get super dark in that outer corner, and I want this outer corner to be pretty dark. And then you guys can kind of see how I still have a lot of space. There's still space for like the blue. I'm doing this look. It's inspired by the cover art for Good Vibrations. Good Vibrations um, is a song by Nightmare and Slander. You wouldn't really know unless you like listen to like EDM and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into these, these. Honestly, I'm not really good with this, these, this, these kinds of things um, because I am kind of boring. I don't know. I don't think I'm boring, but I feel like once I start recording myself, then I run out of things to say or I forget what I was about to say. Um, and yeah, story of my life, so that's why I have a small amount of friends. Hurry for me. Wow. And then I'm going to take this color from my NYX palette. It's a custom palette I made. I will try and find out what the shade name is for this one. And I'm just going to start blending this out a lot. So I am starting school tomorrow. It's going to be my last year. I go to UCR in case you'd like to know and stalk me. I'm not supposed to be giving out personal information. But yes, I am a fifth year because um, I needed more time, I guess, to finish. I've been kind of like not suffering, um, dying. A little bit a lot and what am I gonna do after that you say I don't know um, hopefully I figure that out by the time I get towards the end um, and if not then I will figure it out eventually so I feel like this is sort of blended enough so I'm just gonna go in a little bit with the white shade and I'm just gonna go into the brow bone color, the brow bone color, the brow bone. So then I'm gonna just go in with a shimmery shade because I'm already doing this anyways. And this is a palette that I borrowed from my friend because I'm poor. So while I cut the crease, um, you know, inspired by the fact that I have school tomorrow, maybe I should just talk about embarrassing things that have happened to me in college. A lot of embarrassing things happen to me in college that I don't like to discuss. I kind of keep that in like the deepest pits of my memory so I don't have to um, relive it. It suddenly likes to come back up randomly in the middle of the night when I'm having sleep paralysis. I think this was like my first date ever and it would happen during my first year of college it was actually a Tinder date, so you already know that it was going to end up being terrible. He was an engineer as well. Um, my major is bioengineering, by the way. I had been talking to him, and honestly, you know, like, especially when you're on Tinder, you already both are attracted to each other. So we had kind of like flirted, I guess, and then um, we kind of discussed actually meeting, especially because we went to the same school. Um, we literally both lived in dorms and it was both of our first years. So I was just like, whatever, like, why not just try and go for this? We planned to meet up at the, what is it called? The hub, which if you go to UCR, you know where that's at. And when I first saw him, I was taller than him. And it's not even that like, I have anything against 
you know, a guy for being short or whatever, but I'm five feet. I'm, I'm five feet tall. And if I feel like I'm taller and bigger than you, it's gonna be awkward. Like, it's just awkward for me. I wasn't trying to like judge him for his height because obviously that's something he can't control. But I did not expect him to be as short as he was. And I wasn't even wearing heels or anything. I was just wearing boots. Like, you know, whatever, it's fine. So um, then we go, go and we decided to go inside and get food. And honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect because I figured, all right, if this is a date, um, if we're agreeing to meet, meet up and all of this and we've been flirting, I'm assuming it's a date. So I was assuming date behavior. And this man did not even open the door for me. Um, so like he opened the door, but he didn't open it for me. He just walked in and then like he just sort of held it open for like one second and it almost like crashed in my face. And that's when I knew it was just all downhill from there. I wasn't sure if he was going to, it doesn't, like he doesn't have to, um, he didn't have to buy me food or anything, but I wasn't sure if he was going to or not. Um, he didn't. I was just like, you know, like, it's cool, it's whatever. I'm not gonna be rude about that because he doesn't owe me anything, so he doesn't have to pay for my food. And then the conversation was horrible. You would think that people, especially on a first date, like, they try and talk themselves up. They try and say stuff like, like good about themselves, like their hobbies, what they like to do. He only told me everything he didn't like to do. He said, yeah, I hate being outside. I hate being around people. I hate it when being in crowds of people. Like, I just like to be inside all the time by myself. And I had no idea what to say to that. That was literally what most of the conversation was about, was him complaining about, you know, like concerts, about anything that involved multiple people. You know, you can be however you want to be, but for the first date, I'm pretty sure you should talk about stuff that you like and not just things that you dislike. I just really wanted to go back to my dorm. It was just incredibly uncomfortable. There's so many awkward pauses. I kind of try to wrap it up like a little bit and I, I think I even lied and said I had stuff to do, even though I was just went back to my dorm and started watching Netflix. We were like walking upstairs or whatnot, and I didn't know to go in for a front hug or a side hug, so um, he kind of curved my front hug, and then we did a side hug, and it was the most awkward thing ever. I really wanted to die at that point. That was it. Like, he never messaged me again. I forgot who in match two I had to like avoid eye contact for the rest of the year because we would eat in the same location, you know, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend with purple just to kind of get that um, red to just kind of blend in so that it looks more seamless. And I think I'm gonna take a mixture of the dark blue, blue and a dark purple. Please ignore the fact that it looks incredibly, uh, <laughs> incredibly dirty. The main reason that I wanted to do this was mainly because I realized that I don't really talk in my videos. It's kind of even scary for me to just post even a video with me not talking because I know it's something I need to get over, but a lot of times like people will just find anything to criticize you about. Things hurt my feelings, so yeah, I just figured maybe people actually would want to get to know me, I guess, because nowadays YouTube is mostly about personality. And honestly, I was ugly in middle and high school, so I had to make up for it with personality. So clearly, my field of expertise. So now I'm going to blend out the bottom with dark blue and then the light blue. I think I'm just going to go off camera and do my face makeup. So I know what you guys are thinking. Lola, did you really finish the rest of your makeup, like completely everything else, and not record it? Are you really that lazy? To answer all those questions, yes, I am. Maybe next time I'll talk for a little bit longer, but I think this should be enough for like, you know, like a six-ish minute video. So I think I'm good. So thank you guys for watching this video. And if you guys want me to start doing more of these kinds of videos where I'm like just sitting down and getting ready and complaining about my life and talking about really awkward moments in my life, then just let me know. 
I could always alternate, but just let me know what you guys think. And that's pretty much it.